Hey, welcome. My name is Kelsey. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I have a declutter video. So, I mean, I feel like how many times am I going to start off a video like this? 2020, you know? I feel like COVID honestly has made me rethink my makeup choices and like I've definitely been going for much less recently because half of your face is covered anytime you go outside in public and it, you just see like here and up essentially and so I just have been struggling the last video I posted was a like current makeup collection kind of like what I'm focusing on and I had shared that I had done a big declutter and was getting rid of a bunch of stuff and so I wanted to share it with you. So I am gonna be doing this in two parts because like I said, it's a lot of stuff. Today I'm gonna to be doing like eye stuff. So like eyeshadow palettes, eyeliners, single shadows, and um, lip products. And then the next day, next video, I'm gonna be doing like face products, any kind of like face stuff, and some brushes. So if you're interested in seeing either of those two videos, I guess stick around and subscribe. Um, but for today, let's jump in to some eye products. I'm gonna start with some liners. I have a few. Um, I'm not a big liner fan. I just, I don't, I used to love eyeliner and uh, the last few years it kind of started fading off for me. Um, occasionally I'll put on some eyeliner, but not like, these kind of eyeliners. My friend actually gave me a bunch of Morphe eyeliners recently. They're just like the normal pencil liners. I don't know if there's a technical name for these color pencil, but I have four different shades. I am keeping one. It's kind of like a greenish rusty kind of color. It's really cool. Um, but I have the shade Secret, which is like a copper color. Um, I have Richie, R Richie, it's like a taupey purple color, um, Midnight, which is like a gray, and then Everlasting, oh, maybe I am getting rid of the green one, uh, yeah, so maybe I'm getting rid of the green one, just kidding, but I have four of these just kind of basic Morphe eyeliners, and it's just, I don't use them, and my friend gave them to me, which was very nice. She knows I love makeup, and so I just am not really using them, so I think I just need to get rid of them. I have two other liners. This first one is from Lord & Barry. I want to say I got this in an Ipsy at one point, but I'm not totally sure. Um, it's just a black liner, just a standard <laughs> black liner. I feel like I've had a few little travel small liners over the last few years and I'm always like, oh wow, what a great thing. I can have like a small eyeliner on hand. Um, and then I never ever use it because I usually always have a full size one too. And so I just, it needs to go. And then lastly, I've just had this for a long time. And so it's, I, I'm ready for it to go and I don't really use it anymore. It's the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Highlighter. This is one of those like brightening pencils that you can like put in your waterline or put, why is this not focusing? I'm also using a new camera and so I think it does look much better, but I also am having issues with it focusing on things. Focus on things, not on me. Maybe that's it there. Ugh annoying but this is just wet and wild it's like a standard brightening kind of like nude pencil i just don't use it anymore so i need to get rid of it i have two single shadows to get rid of the first one is from ace beauté this is the glimmer shadow in the shade iced latte i actually had another one of these that i got rid of probably last year it was more of like a pink color and this one's just it is a really pretty gold color and it's a great like consistency it's a great texture it wears well on the eyes i just 
I think, I feel like I have this kind of shade in multiple other palettes and I never ever reach for singles and so I'm just getting rid of it because I never used it. And the other single is from Kat Von D and it's the Lolita single. It's, I got it in BoxyCharm like a year ago probably. It's, it's just her classic Lolita shade that was like the best seller like lip product. Um, and then they turned it into like this whole line of other things. And so this was like a single shadow. It is really pretty. It's just, again, a single shadow, especially in this kind of color, I'm like never gonna reach for. I did use it a few times as like a single, like a monotone kind of look. Like I used it on the eyes, I used it on the cheeks. Um, and that was kind of cool, but again, it's just a single and I'm, I won't ever get around to it. Now moving on to eyeshadow palettes. I have a little tiny one to start us off. This is from Wet n Wild. This was a limited edition palette. I don't know what collection it was from, but it's called Fit for a Queen. And this is pretty, again, like I, I've used this some, not a ton, but it's just one of those palettes that I kind of forget about. It kind of falls between the cracks. And Wet n Wild is just one of those brands I'm not super interested in anymore since they're just kind of questionable in their cruelty-free status and like, I just feel like they've been kind of shady and so if I'm not really using it, I'm gonna get rid of it. Another palette, I, from here on out, these are all palettes, bigger palettes. This is from Too Faced. This is the Palm Springs Dreams palette. And again, this is a really nice palette. The exterior of it is kind of cute. It looks like like a retro like hotel room. Um, it's a nice palette. It's got some cool colors. I just, it's scented like most Too Faced things and I am not a fan of the scent. It smells like um, some kind of candy that I know but I can't place, but it's very sweet smelling. Um, which you don't smell it once you put it on your eyes, obviously, but I just, there was something about these shades. There was like two that I like used occasionally, but not a lot of them. And so I just need to either pass this on to someone else or get rid of it. Cause it's, it just takes up too much room it, and it's super bulky. Like this is just a bulky package and I don't have room for that. I have a lot of BoxyCharm palettes. I think like, all the rest of my palettes except for one are BoxyCharm palettes. I believe January of this year was the last month I got BoxyCharm. Um, and I, when I first started BoxyCharm, I thought it was really cool that I got like a palette a month because that was kind of their thing. And then I just had too many palettes and like there wasn't any use for them. And more than half of them I like didn't really even like. They just kind of took up space. Like this one. This is from Violet Voss. It's the Essentials palette. And this is a nice palette. Again, like all of these palettes are good quality. It's just like the colors don't speak to me or I just don't really use them. This is a nice, <laughs> these are nice colors. Like I did use this. It's just not something I can like talk myself into keeping. And there wasn't anything super unique about it. Like, I just, there wasn't anything drawing me back to it. And so, goodbye. I feel like I look very pale. I'm gonna put some like lip product on. I feel like sometimes you just need like a little bit of a lip color to pull your yourself together. Which, who wears lip products anymore? Not me. Another product from Ace Beauté, again, I think they make great palettes. Um, this one is just not my speed. This is the Scarlet Dusk palette. It's got like warm tones and cool tones, but very pink. And this is just, I don't ever, ever reach for it. Another one I just don't ever reach for. This is the Celestial Thunder palette from Dominique Cosmetics. Um, Again, it's kind of colorful. I loved this shade, which these kind of shades are like my favorite kind of color. It's like a kind of champagne, like 
glittery color. It's not super golden, but it's also not silvery. That's like my go-to color. I love that on the lid. You can go warm with it. You can go cool with it. I just, I love those kind of colors. But I have other colors like this and having that in this palette, there was nothing else here for me. And so it's gone. This might be one of my oldest that I still have around BoxyCharm palettes. Actually, I have one other palette that's like very old from BoxyCharm, but I love it. It's from Pure Cosmetics. Um, this one is the Nightingale palette from Pretty Vulgar. And again, great quality shadows. It kind of reminds me of like the Naked Smoky palette, which I've also had and decluttered. And I think when I got this, I still had the Naked Smoky. <laughs> the Nakey Smoky palette. I also had the Naked Smoky palette. Um, and so they were very similar in how they came across on the eyes. And so I didn't really ever use this one. And then I got rid of the Naked Smoky palette and I just never reached for this one. And so it's just time for it to go. This is a palette I was so excited about and I thought I was gonna use this. And I did not. This is from Storybook Cosmetics. It's the Fairy Tales collection and it's the Robin Hood palette. Again, very bulky, like it's real cute, but that's like an inch and a half, if not two inches for six shadows. Again, nice shadows. I thought I was gonna use this cause it's very different than anything I have but I literally never ever reached for it. I think I used it like twice and was like, okay, hey, bye. This one's a little bit harder for me to get rid of. This was a palette I was super excited about. I almost bought this palette a few times on my own and then I got it in BoxyCharm and I was so pumped. This is from Dose of Colors and it's the Marvelous Mauves palette. It's a very just like monotone palette. It's got five shades in here, all, <laughs> that was awkward, all matte. And they're just like different shades of like mauve. Nice, I just never use it. And so I just, I need to pass it on. Another Violet Voss palette. This is something I've almost gotten rid of a few times, not because it's not good shadows or like I don't like it. I, it's just, again, one of those palettes I don't f have any kind of like draw to. There's nothing that like pulls me in. This is the Holy Grail Pro Eyeshadow Palette. Um, very warm toned, but I feel like whenever I used this palette, I kind of got like two different looks, even though there is 20 shadows in here. I feel like I either got like a very cranberry look or like an orange look and that was it no matter what I used. And so I just never really reached for this and so I had debated on getting rid of this so many times and now I finally made the decision to dump it. The last palette is another one that I have, I mean, I love this palette. I have done videos on this palette. I did like a whole series where I used this palette in different ways. This is from Morphe and it's the Dare to Create 39A palette. This was like the first palette that they did in this format that's the same as like the James Charles palette. And when this came out, this was a limited edition. This doesn't even like fit in the frame. It was a limited edition holiday palette and I was obsessed. Like when I saw it, I was like, I need that palette. And so my sister actually got this for me for Christmas. I have used this palette a bunch. You can get so many different looks out of this. You can do like very like neutral colors. You can do kind of like pinks, browns. I didn't really use the blues, but you can do like greens and the greens are stunning. But I feel like I kind of got my use out of it and it's just time to move on. I've had it for, I think like this Christmas would mark like three years of having it. So I've had it for a while. It is like a part of their collection now. It's, they like brought it back out as like a standing palette in their collection, but it doesn't have this like paint stroke on it. 
But I really enjoyed this palette. It was beautiful for the time. And I've moved on. That is it for all of my eye products, eyeshadow palettes, all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to quickly, and I mean quickly, bust through some lip products because I have so many. Um, I was relentless with my lip collection because of all of the products that I use on my face, lips are the thing that I don't use like at all anymore because I don't want it all over my mask. I have no other occasion where I would wear a lip product, especially now that it is cold outside in Minnesota. When it was summer and I was doing things outside, I was a little bit more apt to wear a lip product because I could like go outside and do things outside and look cute. Um, but now it's not, not as much. And so I had to just kind of like give myself a reality check and be like, you have too many lip products, stop buying lip products, and you need to get rid of like all of the ones you have. So quickly, we're gonna go through this. I'm gonna start with like balms and lip glosses and then move to like more lipstick, liquid lipstick kind of things. Um, I have a lip balm from Arrow and it's the Boost. It's like a color enhancing lip balm. Um, it's cute. It's like one of those products that you put on and it turns, it's supposed to turn like the best pink ever. And um, it just was like a weird pink for me. And so getting rid of that. Model Co. This is like a lip oil. And I got this from um, some, I don't remember. I got this for like really, really cheap. And then I never really used it. It's just a lip oil. The only reason I didn't really use it more is because the scent just kind of drives me crazy. Um, glosses, I have a few, which I love lip glosses, and this one particular, and so I'm kind of sad to move on from this. this, is from Dominique Cosmetics, one of the Lemonade lip glosses, and it's in the shade Peach Tea, I believe, yeah. Really cute, just like pinky nude lip gloss, super great color, great formula, smells great. I've just had it for a while, and I'm not wearing lip gloss right now. This one's super fun and I really wanted to use it more than I did. It's from Profusion. It's the sparkling lip topper. So it's like super glittery, but this is in the shade Charm Topper. I got this in like a Profusion lip kit. It came with a, um, a lip liner and a liquid lipstick and then this guy. Um, I think I still have the other two in my collection, but I'm getting rid of this. Actually, I think I just have the lip liner now. Uh, I got it like two Christmases ago, I think. And so this one, it's I never used it and I really wanted to and now is definitely the time where I'm not gonna use it. This was one that I did really enjoy as well. This is the Tarte Tartist Lip Paint. It's in the shade Flaming Hot. Really cute, kind of like pinky purple gloss, but it just looks really great on the lips. My cap kind of broke and so I had put some washi tape on there to kind of like hold it in place and um, it's almost gone actually. I did use a lot of this lip gloss and again, I'm just not using that anymore so it's time to go. And then this one is more so like I've just had it for a long time and needs to get rid of it. It's from NYX. It's one of the intense butter glosses and this one's in the shade Chocolate Crepe. The butter glosses are great, super cute formula. This one is one of the intense butter glosses. And so this one's more tinted where like the normal butter gloss is more of like a regular lip gloss formula. It's kind of sheer, it's got a little bit of a tint to it. This one's like ultra tinted um, and I just, I've had it for a really long time. Bye. Liquid lipsticks. Here we go, I've got a few. Actually, before, I have one regular lipstick. This is from Christopher Buckle, I think is how it's pronounced. It's in the shade Bardot. It's one of their long wear lipsticks. It's kind of like a matte lipstick. The packaging on this is super cute. The color was great. It's like this nice kind of rich pink color without being like too purpley pink. Um, I did use it a few times, but it started changing colors. It used to be more nude. You can actually kind of tell. It used to be more nude-ish color, 
and then on the top it started changing to like this pinky purple color which is not the color i wanted um, and so I think that was just kind of getting old and it needed to go. Now all the liquid lipsticks. Oh shoot, you know what? I missed a little, well, I guess it's kind of a liquid lipstick. This is from Wet n Wild. It's one of the liquid cat suits and it's one of the high shine lipsticks. So it's like a super intense lip gloss. It doesn't ever dry down like a liquid lipstick but it is like glossy and I feel like this kind of a formula was super popular like a year ago even. Um, but with masks, I think they've become less popular. It was a good formula, good color. This was in the shade Cedar Later. <laughs> it's like a nice nude color. This is like my everyday kind of color. Um, I just don't use it. And then again with the Wet n Wild thing, it's time to move on. Another one from NYX. This is the Lip Lingerie, and it's in the shade Push Up. I feel like this was, like, when these first came out and they were popular, this was, like, one of the most popular colors. It was kind of like that Kylie Jenner lip kind of color, um, and I've just had it for a really long time and not wearing liquid lipstick or lip products in general, like I've said. <laughs> This one is from Tarte. It's one of the Tartist lip paints and it's in the shade Salty. Um, this was an interesting f like color for me. It is just like a little too close to like my skin tone that it gave me like kind of like that nude lipstick but it was like very matte and it just wasn't super flattering. I always wanted it to work but it was just too much for me. This one I actually really liked. This is from Ciate. It's a liquid velvet lipstick and it's in the shade Pin Up. Super pretty like pinky red color. Great for this time of year. Just like a great fall color or like holiday color. Um, but this was just one that I've had for like a really long time. I got this in an Ipsy and I haven't had Ipsy for like two years and I think this was like three years old. So I was just trying to get rid of anything that was like real old in my collection. This one, well, both of these weren't too old, but both of them from BoxyCharm. This is from Mana Kadar and it is a lip whip in the shade Dream. This was actually a formula I was not too mad about. This was like, I think I got this towards the end of like the more popular liquid lipstick kind of cycle. And the color is nice. It's like a pinky nude color, more neutral. It's not like warm or cool tone. Um, so great color. I just, there was just something about it that I just, like I never reached for it. I don't know. It did kind of smell plasticky, you know, those kind of lip products. Wasn't my favorite, I guess. Um, this one is from Adesse, and this one's kind of more similar to like that Wet n Wild formula. It's a high definition liquid lipstick. This has no shade name on it, but it was another BoxyCharm product. Great color, nice formula. It kind of left your lips a little bit shiny. It didn't dry down a ton. It does have a little bit of a scent. I think I'm starting to realize scented products that are not scented like vanilla or cupcake, I'm just not reaching for. And so I, I think I've like honed in on my scented products. And this one is just not one for me. And again, I guess this one's a little bit older. I've probably had this for close to two years. That was everything on my declutter list for today. Again, if you're interested in seeing some other products I'm decluttering, make sure that you're subscribed because my next video will be all of like my face products. And I don't have as many, but again, I was kind of ruthless with like getting rid of stuff. So yeah. But thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below if you haven't already. I would love to have you around. And until next time, bye guys.